Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 89 of Ocean Block. <laughs> That's right. Uh, is it just me, or does this look extra orange today? I think it's because I got my diving suit on. Um, yeah. Uh, so today we're going to go over a few things that I did in between episodes and. Um, we're gonna try to automate, well I'll show you how I automated the dense construction block. Let's go look. Also, I have been uh, making a new level because we're running out of room. Um, so I put a little elevator down here right now. It's pretty much empty. Um, I like it though, it looks snazzy. I like uh, a lot of the uh, walls are glass and I really like that, uh, that I can come over and, and look out. I think it's some stuff out there or something, I don't know. I don't know what. Uh, but... Let's go see um, let's go look at the dense construction set block setup. Um, also, I've been playing with these network receivers and transmitters and oh, this is so cool. I'll be able to um, get my network in here and hook everything up and it just gets automatically sent into the system. Um, it looks like I've reached uh, the limit of 1500. Let's have a look. Also, if you notice, check this out. I have uh, my wireless crafting grid in my necklace slot. Um, which is pretty cool, so I don't need to have it on my hotbar. And I have the hotkey. I think it was defaulted as Control G. What? And it's so cool. I can get my crafting grid in here. Um, so that is pretty awesome. Um, but this is pretty basic. This is a destructor block that I, I didn't play with this stuff that much. Uh, so I, I kind of forgot about it, uh, but there's a constructor and a destructor. A constructor will place a block and a destructor will destroy the block or mine it. So this works uh, flawlessly. Uh, it places the block every time, unlike some other block placers. Uh, <laughs> and I haven't seen it fail yet, but I have a, a crafting upgrade in here so that it will place the construction block. And if it needs to, it will, will craft it. Let's see how much is, is left. Control G. Yep, it's at 1.5k and there's only 85 left. I made up a whole bunch before I told it to craft it, so it'll be kind of cool when it starts crafting it on its own. <laughs> uh, so that's kind of fun. Um, but yeah, it's pretty basic. I was scared to do this at first because um, you need the silk touch upgrade and I had to disenchant my book. This is another hotkey. Uh, I took my backpack off of my hotbar because there's a, a key bind for the backpack as well. And it's a semicolon. So, boom, semicolon. Um, yeah, I took the silk touch off the exchanging gadget just so I could make the silk touch upgrade for this so that it could mine the dense construction blocks. 
And I whitelisted it so it'll only mine the dense construction blocks. And it'll only work with the redstone signal when the detector is uh, under 1500. So that's pretty cool. Um, I forgot about these as well, I, or maybe it wasn't in, in before, but this is really, really cool. I love it. Um, this is the receiver, and uh, over here I have the transmitter, and uh, I had a network card that I clicked on the receiver in there. And I put it in here so it's linked to that uh, that receiver so it's cool and it that little setup doesn't take any power or anything it's just the signal that it gets from the ME network or oh, not the ME network the refined storage network so uh, it is kind of slow because it has to wait for the construction block to uh, convert um, so I might have to add multiples later uh, but it'll have to wait until I get another silk touch book so that that is really cool I'm so happy to not have to do that anymore <laughs> oh but yes I am going to have so much fun with this guy. Um, I can hook hook my uh, system into all my uh, compact uh, machines, um, and that will that will make them much more functional uh, because I can get detectors in there. Like the Wither Builder, I can get detectors to detect when things are uh, certain levels and have it automatically turn this off and on and automatically send it soul sand, um, which would be kind of cool because I haven't really automated this. Um, I still don't know what to do about that. See, he's trying to place... He's trying to place the... The boxes, or the soul sand, while it's being killed. See, it's blown up. Three or four times. There we go. I had all that set up. So, shift, no, control G. Open that up. I'm still getting used to it. <laughs> um, also, I'm going to try and uh, convert all of my compacting drawers to. Uh, storage blocks um, because I've been getting lag and I, I can't explain it um, so I, I've heard that um, drawer controllers and um, the external storage don't always um, work very well so I'm going to try and see if that helps. <laughs> it's a huge undertaking. I'm sorry if you can hear the dog outside my window barking. Oh man. But uh, I've got to figure a way to drain these. Um, 
without having to do it manually. Uh, so I think what I'll do is get an import bus. Not an import bus, an importer. I'm I'm stuck in AE. <laughs> oh, original AE. Um, okay. So I just wanted to. Yeah, let's. I wonder if it, it doesn't have to be on the bottom, probably. So let's um, get one of you. Get you. Let's put it like. To only want to whitelist nether quartz. And are you draining? It is draining. Sweet. So I don't need to uh, manually do it. I might need to put some upgrades in that though. Um, let's do like a stack upgrade. Ooh, I got one already. Nice speed upgrade. That way it won't take very long. I wouldn't go with like the biggest storage, so I went with the one, the one meg, one meg storage block. It's not like uh, the 64 meg, but it's it's decent. So it should house everything fairly easily. Like, because um, these. Um, are only gonna store like 36,000 on the compacting drawers without any upgrades. Um, and the ones that are, you know, over the 36,000, that one I increased. That's the nickel. Silver is how did it do that? Oh, oh, I see because the quartz is different um, because it takes only takes four to make a block, so that number is going to be a lot lower. Uh, so since this can store nine ingots per block, it can store a lot more, apparently. So, because this is not full, it's only about half full, so it can store about 8,000 um, blocks of silver, exactly. All right, let's go check on this doodad and see if it's done. Did you get my quartz boot? Oh yeah. Okay, so you do this. Put you there. Get one of you. There we go. It's draining that. That's, this is the big one. 
this is the big one right here. And this wasn't, because uh, I had a couple of upgrades in it, it was not full. So that's going to take that a while. Uh, but I do remember that I did not claim some rewards. Oh, for the, the Supremium Coal Singularity. Herculean Flux Storage. Cool. Uh, the Coin Singularity. Ooh, Supremium Apples. Those are pretty good, too. Um, and a Supremium Paxel. Cool. I like my Paxel. And the Supremium. Okay. Um, look at that. Let's come over here. Can uh, put that away. Put that away. And put that away. I do believe I got uh, two stacks of insanium apples, so uh, I can put these away too. If I go through those, that'll be. So yeah, um, let's get this guy cleaned up. I need my backpack and my key. Put the backpack away. And I believe you can can store these in the backpack, just not the regular um, the, the regular drawers. You can't store in here for some reason, so that's crazy. Awesome. Um, so yeah, I'm going to slowly be upgrading this, but my redstone dust is so low, <laughs> um, and this takes redstone, so, uh, let me see, let's see if I can request five more. Oh, it takes 3,600 redstone, but I have gonna have to beef up my redstone production um, I'm probably going to redo my sluice area because I can have wireless in there now or I can get my network in there now so I can completely redo it and maybe make it a little bit more efficient um, because there's there's like a lot of room in here. I only have four sluices and I can even upgrade these um, to the blazing which is uh, a new quest that they added not in exploration and getting started but even though we've already completed it because it was completed before it was done. So yeah, we can possibly do this. Um, I don't know. This is supposed to smelt ingots. Um, but I'm not sure if that's something that I want to happen. Uh, 
about because I have it crippling it. But it would be kind of cool. That's some um, processing that I wouldn't have to do. But, but it's kind of fun setting up all the auto processing stuff. So, um, wow, and it holds 25 buckets of lava. Oh, it, oh, it's like full. Oh, is this? Wow. <laughs> I haven't checked on that in a while. Um, X U. Go ahead and do this. Just enough room. Um, yeah, and I could, I could get so much more stuff automated in here. Oh, this is so outdated now. <laughs> uh, but yes, I could totally redo this whole place um, and make it cleaner and. Uh, Yeah, I think I might do that in between episodes. Maybe uh, beef up production because uh, maybe add another um, stonework factory for the dust as well and a pulverizer uh, just to double our redstone <laughs> production. Um, I did add some seeds to the botany garden. I'm pretty sure I did. Let's see. Oh um, no. Yeah. I added a section here for redstone. still have some empty spots in here just on this little wall uh, not much but everything is just rolling along smoothly um, I also want to automate more of of the um, singularities and I think I'm gonna start doing that on the new level. I'm going to start adding in uh, singularity automation down here. Um, let's see, there's So that's 19. I can put 15 on this side with two extra spots on the end. Then put 15 on this side and I could get all 30 of them uh, automated. But I'd have to teach, uh, teach the system to make, make those uh, Quantum compressors, uh, but that shouldn't be a big, big thing. And I wonder, um, yeah. totally teach it that um, 
Oh, I desynced it, by the way. Quantum compressor. Um. What? Why do you keep doing this? Oh, because this is the pattern one and I had that one. Okay. I hadn't changed this one back yet. There we go. I think uh, so it should be able to make everything except for the black iron frame. So do that. And this. And oh, it needs ink sacks. There we go, luminescence. And I know I can get some more ink sacks. Oh, but I forgot. I don't know. I don't have to walk back. <sighs> I've been thinking about updating the mob system too. Maybe um adding sewers into it to get uh, fertilizer. Uh, because I haven't played with um, industrial foregoing that much <laughs> and and I haven't done the what's, um, what is it called Next process. 
process of the amniotic solution chamber, sewage, oh, no. oh there it is, the hydroponic bed, that's what I was looking for. Um, yeah, we need this fertilizer which comes from a sewage composter. So I might try to set that up. I, I don't know if it only does passive mobs um, that collect the sewage or if normal mobs work. So I might see if the normal mobs will work, the aggressive mobs. And if it doesn't, I can change my um, mob system to a blurst earth instead of cursed and then I could get both sets and uh and then be good to go so I might look into that as well so yeah um I have it look I removed the dense construction block of singularity because I'm happy with it now. I know how to automate it. That's good. Uh, we're still getting singularity singularities. Um, I might see if there's any kind of um, shrinkage I could do to this to uh, better organize it and get more um, cobble gins in here working on our uh, singularities um, so I might try to reconfigure this uh, to, to squeeze more in here <laughs> um, I didn't really know exactly how many I was going to need to begin this but I think I need more in here uh, so I'll try to uh, Try to squeeze some more room in there. Maybe add stuff into the corners first. Get those systems um, up and going. And then start building around them. <laughs> uh, so that it's completely packed in here. With nothing but this centerpiece where I can stand and look. That would be, uh, that would be, oh look, here comes the singularity. What? Nice. Nice. So, uh, plans for the future. I still got them. Um, I'm really having fun with this mod pack. Uh, I've gone, what? see this? I have lava in here. Like, what the heck is lava doing in there? Okay. So what's it doing? latex is it just getting into the system um let's do this um Storing it over here in this black hole unit. This tank that isn't full at all. Mm. I don't want it stored a little bit in there. Dang it! Okay, do Yeah, it's getting 
insert an extract through there. Um, I don't know why it didn't store properly. Okay, so let me go over here. I don't have any latex in my system at all. And this is full. Dang it. Okay, so let's get a bucket. Bad things happened. <laughs> go. There we go. Getting all the things. Yes. Okay. That will help us sponges. see that.